looks like I've got enough points. How about it, coach? Let's get ready to challenge some powerful opponents. Okay. Time to get fired up. Let's head back to the lounge. Already a few matches have gone by in the blink of an eye. Have you gotten used to the situation, Luca? <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, uh, I have. But the hallucinations are getting stronger. Could there actually be something wrong with me? I'm a boxer! My head gets hit every other day. You should be more careful, then. Many athletes suffer from brain complications in their later years. The minds of organic life forms are very fragile. Uh, you're starting to scare me now. <sighs> Good thing I've got plenty of youth left to burn. I can't falter now. The next match is gonna be crucial. And my opponent is... Uh, I guess you can call her an old acquaintance. Never met her in the flesh, but when Bellabug wouldn't know of her. Oh, Miss Topaz is the cutest among the ten stone hearts. Oh, I like her. No offense, Miss Carmella, but I'm not keen on the IPC. They nearly turned my home into an asset that could be bundled and sold. <sighs> Mr. Luca, the IPC is a megacorp. It's easy to pin labels on people, but at the end of it, Everyone we meet is living flesh and bones, with feelings. I I'm also an IPC staff member. Do you hate me too? I spoke out of turn. Please forgive my rudeness, Miss Carmella. You're right. You're right. I should find out what kind of person Topaz is for myself. Topaz, the IPC's participating representative. Honestly, I don't really hate her. I heard she was the one who granted the time extension. Maybe she's not so bad after all. But I have a certain instinctive wariness of those bigwigs from the IPC. No, I can't let that fear control me. She's my opponent. Let her witness our strength. I can't lose to her. Luca, are you ready to fight? <sighs> I'm ready. <laughs> I'm also ready to record some footage. Next in the ring, two competitors with a deep-seated rivalry. The atmosphere is already charged with tension before the first punch has even been thrown. You can feel the fireworks are about to explode. In the blue corner, representing Team Bellabog, Luca Stronga. In the red corner, it's the liquidation specialist of the International Peace Corporation, Topaz the Debt Retriever. Who would have thought the people of Yorillo 6 would start making waves in the cosmos? It's a pleasure to see you here at the War Dance. I'm really looking forward to this match too, Miss Topaz. This is a great opportunity for us to showcase our Bellabogian pride to you. Long time no see. I wasn't expecting to see you here. I hear you're Team Bellabog's coach, which really surprised me. The Astral Express helped mediate Bellabog's debt previously, and now you're assisting them in the war dance. 
When a child is growing up, they need to learn to find their own footing in the world. The Bellabogians have always lived under difficult conditions. We children already knew our path forward long ago. <laughs> a lofty proclamation. I harbor no ill will toward Bellabog. I merely wish to see if, uh, after evading that debt crisis, the people of Bellabog can truly stand on their own. If we rely too much on the charity of major influences to help us overcome hardships, they will never truly become free, but rather remain a servant under the illusion of freedom. The people of Bellabog have never been servants! I apologize. Just speaking my mind. It uh, appears I've ruffled some feathers. Time to get on the stage, Luca of Bellabog. You said it! Let's go! You may not call upon the end of the but that doesn't mean we'll go easy on you. Eating the toast. More season. I'll see you. <gasps> I'm honored, but since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Nothing major. Those who can knock down Luca, I'll be sure to give you an excellent score in your performance evaluation. Let's roll, people! Performance evaluation! Network Time for good old counter -attack. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Between a massage. Oh, it is coming in hot. In there, Luca. Eternal sleep. The dead return. Commencing <laughs> support. <gasps> Receive divinity. Thank you for your generosity. Repay. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. Hallucinations are getting worse. Looks like it's time to get serious. Eternal sleep is not the end. Dead return! Enemy data sick net markers activated. Time for good old counter attack! <gasps> Another journey becomes still water. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. Tremble before my power. Again. Destined for oblivion. My back. Witness the avalanche! You chose the wrong. <laughs> I'm honored, but since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Enemy 
data set netmark is activated. Time for a good old counterattack. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. Tremble before my power. Still waters of oblivion. Eternal step dead. Return! I weep for the depart. I like adding fuel to the fire. I'm honored by your presence. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Enemy data to netmark is activated. Time for a good old counter attack. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. <laughs> you fight well, Mr. Luca. But it's time to end this game of playing house. More season. <laughs> Quickly, they can get off work early. Eternal sleep. The dead return! You chose the wrong act. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. Another journey begins. Destined for oblivion. My back. I'm honored, but since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Enemy data is netmark is activated. Time for a good old counter attack. Apologies, but it looks like this match that should have been yours will end here. Witness the avalanche. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. Judgment of eternal winter! Again? Strong. She wasn't even using her power just now. Cornered by Topaz. The turn is tied on this precarious predicament. Free will, or what's on the still waters of oblivion? Eternal step dead return! I'm honored. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? Enemy data is net mark is activated. Time for a good old counter attack! I weep for the depart. It too shall fall. Destined for oblivion. I weep for the depart. Time for a good old counter attack. I'm honored. Since you're already here, why not have a meal before you leave? I weep for the depart. It too shall fall.
Dean Bellabog has proven its superiority and defended its honor. What a roller coaster of emotions. <sighs> Unbelievable. Isn't that Snowy Owl an IPC employee? Why is he getting so sentimental? <sighs> Luca, you fought well. Victory is yours. <sighs> you pulled your punches, Miss Topaz. <sighs> Do you think so little of me? Um, you're mistaken. For the Ten Stonehearts, going all out is something we only do in life and death situations. This is nothing but a casual spar. Best that everyone emerges unscathed without a scratch. We don't want the IPC's protective gear sales to take a hit now, do we? You took the win. Have more faith in yourself. This was a hard-earned victory. And with all due respect, it was you who underestimated me, right? Of course not. I wouldn't dare look down on one of the IPC's legendary employees. You peg everyone with an IPC job title as one of their lapdogs. You think we've sold our souls and become servants for profit. Don't deny that. I know that look all too well. The IPC doesn't need bleeding, intangible goods like souls. They only want profit. My home and Bellabog aren't so different. We are all struggling to eke out an existence in this merciless universe, hell-bent on living long enough to touch happiness. And the messengers of the Amber Lord gave me that chance. Just as I, on behalf of the IPC, am giving you that exact same chance. So, you understand now? We have much, much more in common than you think, Luca. I hope that Bella Bug can find the strength within to lift itself up. Now, you've left your city in hopes of getting the cosmos to notice you, and that's certainly admirable. But in this cosmos full of selfishness and malice, are you truly prepared to face even greater crises? Whether you are or not, I wish you the best of luck. <sighs> keep it up, and keep winning matches. I've had my fill, so I should be leaving. I have a lot of negotiations to attend to back on the Lofu. This Topaz, wait. Hmm? <sighs> it wasn't my intent to look down on you. But I believe anyone striving to survive is truly... Remarkable. <laughs> Don't take it to heart. Isn't it a tradition to trash talk each other before a match starts?
hallucinations are getting worse. When I was fighting Topaz, do you know who I saw? I saw Madame Kokolia standing at the other end of the ring, summoning blades of ice aimed at me. Uh, I guess so. I don't think this is just some simple culture shock issue. I'm not actually an Iron Man or anything. Speaking of which, Catch Darkhook the Great, what are you doing here on your own? Where'd Svarog go? Well, Svarog said he needed to do some data sampling. He asked Hook to wait for him here and not disturb Luca. Hook has been a goodie and waiting here alone. Data sampling? <sighs> Forget it. It's not something I should be worrying about. Coach, I think I need to get my symptoms looked at. But where can I see a doctor on the Xianzhou? Please, if you don't mind. Oh, I hope they're as good as Natasha. Divination Commission do again? A simple explanation would be that they are the Information Technology Department on the Sienjo. They are mainly responsible for predicting the future. Predicting the future? I guess they're kind of a big deal. At first I thought she was a little awkward, but I guess she just uh, doesn't like socializing. What should we do first? See a doctor or go to the Divination Commission? Actually, I'm not too sure how long it takes to see a doctor. Let's meet up with Lynx at the Divination Commission first. I wanna go too! I wanna go too! What did Sparog say? Pitch Dark Hook the Great isn't allowed to disturb Luca. But this lounge is so small and boring. I can't show off my moves in a tiny place like this. Then, Pitch Dark Hook the Great, shall I take you to Arum Alley to eat yummy food? Have you ever eaten a song lotus cake that chirps? I've never eaten it before. What's that? If I can taste this sun blotter's cake, I'll... Uh, I'll make you the mole's grand captain of gourmet discovery! Thank you, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Let's set off right now. Miss Carmella is such a kind person. She could get along with Hook so quickly. Okay, Coach. We should get going, too. Look, Lynx is over there. Quick, let's go see her. Luca, you're here. I had a strange encounter. I was at the plaza watching people play cards, and I met a kind-hearted girl. She said she could help us repair the Jade Abacus we brought. But she was just called away by a few diviners and still hasn't returned. Yeah, isn't this girl a bit... much? Thank you. You're a huge help. The girl should be just over there, playing some game with other diviners. President Ching, you're getting better and better! You're probably slacking off at work playing this game, right? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. I was too engrossed playing. I didn't notice the time. <laughs> Isn't this the nameless? You're super popular in our circle. Every Pathfinder fan knows you. It's the Pathfinder fan circle. 
We heard that you relied solely on the Pathfinder to overcome the Heliobus possessing the Master Diviner. <laughs> That's definitely the highlight of the Pathfinder since its conception 300 years ago. <sighs> Many of the Diviners here were there. <laughs> you can't hide it from us. Okay. She and I have some things to take care of. Play with you next time. No! Uh, you guys can't leave? Gosh, you scared me. What do you want? It's not every day we meet a Pathfinder legend. We can't let you leave that easily. Hmm. You have to play around a Pathfinder with me or I won't let you take President Ching away. <laughs> I'll do anything it takes just to have a match with you. <sighs> just play around with her. I doubt she'll let go of this chance to boast about it. <laughs> Let's play around! You ready to have a match with me? Sure, lightning quick! Legend for nothing, Nameless. You solve my riddle in a flash. Pathfinder. Once you play, you'll forget about hatred, love, and life itself. In the Divination Commission, we play such a magnificent, bold, and fiery game. Satisfied now? Then we'll be off. We'll come find you tomorrow if we're free. Hold on! Recently, our Pathfinder Circle has also been organizing a major event, taking advantage of the momentum from the war dance. Not just for those on the La Fu. Plenty of our like-minded brethren on other Sienjo ships have also come. You may have seen our ad we put out in the papers. You should join if you're interested. If you join up, our first major event will be considered a wild success. Fantastic! Looking forward to it! <laughs> Who would have thought that you'd be so immensely popular in some weird circle? Is this the friend that you mentioned, Luca? Pleased to finally meet you. I keep seeing you in the news. My name is Chingche, a diviner from the Divination Commission. Miss Lynx has told me everything. She also said she found some rare antique that she hopes I can fix. At first glance, I knew it was a Jade Abacus. And an old model from centuries ago, too. Out of curiosity, I accepted the job to restore the data inside it. <sighs> Nothing gets past you. You know that the Master Diviner has returned to the Yuche on business? Before she departed, she left me with a mountain of data, spreadsheets, and even more data and spreadsheets. My eyes were seeing stars. Now that such an opportunity has fallen into my lap to restore an important historical document, strictly speaking, taking this job doesn't count as slacking off. And I might even get to unveil a fascinating tale. Why wouldn't I take the job? And I've actually already restored part of the information. But Link said that you have to be the first one to look at it, because the owner of this Jade Abacus is your idol. She's right. Thank you, Links. Let's play the recording, then. Trust me. With your skills, you'll surely make a name for yourself if you join the Interstellar Circuit. Prize money, fame, Things others can't achieve in a lifetime, all within your reach. Of course, I'd be thrilled to win, but what I truly hope for is that people will listen to my post-match speech. I know what you're thinking. I've heard about your home's plight. Honestly, many worlds have been attacked by Nanook's mad legion, so I must remind you, 
The audience paid good money to watch a thrilling show. They're not interested in your words of woe and weal. Igor, you sure are a miracle. For a competitor hailing from a frontier planet to get into the final at Pier Point, it's something only a handful have achieved. So cheer up a little. I'm just a plaything for their entertainment. Look at what I've had to do. Severing my perfectly good arm, and replacing it with an IPC prosthetic. All to make the matches more dangerous and thrilling. <sighs> if Mom saw me in this state, she would be heartbroken. If your mother saw the prize money you won, she'd understand. Can my prize money buy me an army? If you want to buy a mercenary army outfitted with standard gear, you'd have to defend your champion's title at least 20 times and accept countless endorsements. Can you last that long? Can your home? This story got much heavier than anticipated. Igor left his home planet before the Antimatter Legion invaded. When he participated in all the fighting tournaments across the cosmos, he would address the audience with a speech after he won, hoping that would raise awareness about the Antimatter Legion and save his planet. He really was an extraordinary person. Alas. The cosmos is infinitely vast, easily drowning out one planet's meek cry for help. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have spoken so flippantly about a fascinating tale earlier. It's all right. This is a chapter in history that's already happened anyway. Regardless, to be able to hear Igor's actual voice after seven centuries <sighs> makes me more than happy. This section of information doesn't mention the Sienjo Alliance at all. I wonder how he fought his way to the Law Fu. Anyway, this is all the content that's been restored so far. I should be able to salvage some data, but I'll need a couple of days. Perhaps the subsequent data will be able to tell us why he arrived on the Sienjo. We'll contact you if there are any new findings. I'll stay at the Divination Commission for now. There are some other matters I have to handle besides restoring the Jade Abacus. I'll try my best to restore the data in the Jade Abacus, but it'll take some time. I feel dizzy. Let's hurry up and see a doctor. Whoa! This is the Alchemy Commission? This whole place is a hospital? Can it get any bigger than this? Wow, cutting edge medicine. You must really be something to bring me straight here to get treated. A few patches should do the trick. Miss Sushong, what a coincidence. I guess you have a problem too. What sort of greeting is that? You're the one with the problem. Sorry, sorry. I mean, are you here to see a doctor too? No, I came here to help my Cloud Knight co-workers get medication for their bruises and swelling. Uh, sorry, I went too hard on him. It was a fair match, so no one's to blame. Actually, we should be grateful to you. They were so impressed by your abilities that they said they wanted to train harder. <laughs> we meet again. Who is this beside you? Hello, I'm Luca, a friend of hers. I'm from Bellabog and a contestant in the current war dance. Bellabog. Apologies, I'm not familiar with the name. Regardless, welcome to the law room, Mr. Luca. Are you here for a consultation? Uh, this might sound weird. Interesting. Hmm. 
Let's run an imaging test first to confirm that your brain has no organic issues. A fighter's bound to run into such problems. Huh? What's it got to do with anything organic? I thought mechanical parts were fine in the tournament. Uh, not that organic. It means, uh... Oh, how do I explain this? It means that the brain is broken. Huh? The brain is... broken? But uh, don't worry. Now that you're at the Alchemy Commission, I'll do my best to find a solution. Hold still and don't move. Three, two, one. Cheese! We are not taking a photo. Hmm. Cauldron Master, what do you see? Is there any hope for me? Hmm. There's a huge shadow in his brain. Could it be? <laughs> I'm too young to die, Doc. I'll do it. I'll stay positive and defeat the demons of this illness. Uh, but that shadow looks a lot like my hand. <sighs> Look, you're still making the V sign. I told you it's not a photo. From the exam results, it looks like there's nothing wrong with your brain. Mr. Luca, have you been eating anything unusual lately? Let me think. I ate some of the local delights when I got here. Song lotus cake, chili oil beef oval stew, scale gourd spring water, mung bean soda, spicy diced chicken, garlic infused pork. After the tournament officially started, my diet has been pretty much the same. Brown rice, corn, buckwheat, Boiled chicken breast, boiled beef shank, poached fish, boiled prawns. Uh, are we feeding livestock here? Mr. Luca, don't be afraid to tell me. Is she mistreating you? I will make sure you get justice. <laughs> of course not. I have to watch what I eat during a match. I can't be stuffing myself with junk. Your appetite <laughs> astounds me. But it seems you didn't eat anything that might affect your brain. Oh, right! After the match with Miss Sushang, I drank a bottle of Sweet Dream Soda. But I think I was already hallucinating before that? Sweet Dream Soda. I think I understand what's going on. It's not unusual to be anxious when you're far away from home. When your nerves were thrown into disarray, the Sweet Dream Soda you drank intensified it. That drink has a fair amount of memoria in it, intended to make dreams more vivid and pleasant, but instead it caused your anxiety to be amplified, eventually triggering serious hallucinations. Sorry, I didn't understand a word you just said. It's all right. There's no cure for such a symptom. What I mean is that you don't require medication. Just stroll around the La Fu more and take in the barrage of new sights and sounds. Stop drinking Sweet Dream Soda and your symptoms will disappear in a few days. Stroll around the Lofu more. Don't drink Sweet Dream Soda. Okay, I've got it memorized. I'm suddenly reminded of something that might help alleviate your symptoms. Please wait a moment. Something that can help alleviate my symptoms? Lady Lingsha said that these medical patches are very effective, but we're fighting again tomorrow. Oh, will it be enough? Nope. You guys didn't know? The war dance has a popularity revival rule. If eliminated contenders or teams garner enough popularity votes in online polls, they can participate in the repechage and re-enter the ring. So, Miss Susang's team is really popular then. <laughs> it's all mainly thanks to my good friend, Little Gwei. All she has to do is tap a finger on the internet, and our popularity votes will blast through the roof like a comet. You know what I mean. Anyway, it's all thanks to Lil Gwei's hard work that I, Sushang, am back in the fight. <laughs> Not bad at all. A <sighs> friend that you can rely on is the most blissful thing in the world. Mr. Luca, come take a look. This is the Tusk Fur treatment that I've prepared for you. Whoa! 
Oh, what is it? Uh, touch it, touch it. Oh, it's too cute. Oh, you're just like a strawberry bun. Oh, little sweetie. Never. I can't stay rational in the face of such cuteness. This is a tusker of the Sienjo Juming. Warm, sweet, not for consumption. Oh, it's pretty cute. But how can it make me better? The tusk purr is a creature that subsists on memoria. Hugging it while you fall asleep can raise your sleep quality, treat insomnia, and relieve anxiety and depression. And the tusk purr loves strong memoria. The more depressed you are, the more happy it'll be. Isn't that right, little fella? Meg. Sounds great. Uh, how much? <sighs> Don't worry. This Tusker is a personal pet of mine. I can lend it to you for this treatment, but you have to take good care of it for me. Oh, I can't thank you enough. All throughout my journey, I've received so much help from the Alliance. I will definitely repay everyone. Oh, oh, you two! You guys have something important to attend to later, right? It must be awfully tiring lugging this cutie pie around, right? 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 Stop staring at me with those weary eyes. You all go take care of your stuff. I'm about to head back to the Sky Splitter to deliver some meds to the team. As a Cloud Knight, I always help out and do at least one good deed a day. I can take this tusk fur to the lounge for you. I'll just hold it for a bit. I swear her. I won't steal it. That's fine by me, Miss Sushang. You can also come play with it anytime you want. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Mr. Luca. Come here, cutie. <laughs> Adorable little tusky. You're so cute. I can just glue you right up. <laughs> Oh, she's acting just like Zila did the first time she saw a real Plains Bear. Looks like the Tusker not only regenerates rationality, it also destroys it. Hmm. Now that would make for an interesting research topic. If there's nothing else I can do for the both of you, I'll be on my way. Thank you for the Tusker. I will treasure it and shower it with love. You go back first. I'm gonna... Take a stroll along the streets. That doctor advised me to walk around the town and see more of the sights. If I can walk along the streets alone for a few more times, I might be able to conquer my fears of the big city. After all, I'll have to be like Igor, competing all over the cosmos for Bellabog in the future. I can't keep getting spooked and hallucinating all the time. <laughs>